Hello everybody, welcome back to week 3 out of 4 of Mario Kart Month! And this week, we're just hopping right into it, let's go! Now, as each wave of the DLC came out, I was getting more and more and more hyped. Wave 1 happened, and it had kind of sort of meh tracks, but there was still a lot, like a lot of highlights in there. Wave 2 came out, and it got a little bit better, there's still a couple of meh ones, I'm looking at you, SNES Mario Circuit 3. Wave 3 came out, easily the peak so far. Far and away, every single track was at least good, ranging from that to awesome. And then Wave 4 happened. Wait, what do you- what do you mean you're adding characters now? What do you mean there are five more characters coming? Wait, what do you mean the last wave is adding four characters for a total of eight? So yeah, that really increased the hype levels, and that is what we are here to look at this time, is the DLC characters. In order, they added in Wave 4, Birdo, PD Piranha, Wiggler, Kamek, Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, Pauline, and Peachette. So, what we're going to do this week is, we're going to do 8 total races online, and we're going to look at every single one of these characters once each, just to really, really make sure that all of the DLC characters get covered in my on my channel. Now also, what I'm going to be doing is I have created custom builds for each of them, not builds that they're going to drive well with necessarily, but just ones that I feel like work with them aesthetically, or ones that fit them as a character, things like that. Or, in the case of Pauline and Peachette, at least, ones that will show off their biking outfits, because they're o those are only in this game so far. So, I am also, 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 have randomly used, used random.org to choose the order that I'm going to race as these characters in, rather than racing with them in their release order. Just to add a little bit of extra mystery, a little bit more fun, so that you guys don't know who's coming next. Alright. I think that just about describes it. Let's go ahead and hop into the online races with these guys with the very first custom build. Alright, online races. For our very first character that we're showing off today, I have done something very silly and kind of anti-me. The first character that got selected by random.org is... Peachette. Right. And... I've set her up with the meta build, at least I understand that this is the meta build. Teddy Buggy, Roller, and Paper Glider. Because some combination of that is like really really good with the Mini Turbo, I think. It's really great with turning, Mini Turbo, all that stuff. And that's why everybody uses that alongside like Yoshi, Peachette, just that particular weight class. Now everyone defaults to Yoshi, and I can't fault them, because Yoshi is really really cute. Okay. I have luckily ended up in a lobby with three DLC tracks that we have not shown off yet. So there's only a 2 out of 12 chance that we don't go to a new one, which probably means it's going to happen, isn't it? Ooh, okay, we're fine. Barely fine, but we're fine. <laughs> the only vote for Sunset Wilds. Oh boy, okay. We are kicking this off here. Now, Sunset Wild, this is a pretty infamous one from Wave 5. This, unfortunately, is one of the lesser GBA remakes in the game, and as far as I've noticed, the primary reason for that is because the sun does not set in this version. Now, I am not familiar with, uh, Super Circuit all that much. Like, I never actually- I have it, but I've basically never played it, so I don't know entirely what the sunset looked like in that version. I do know what it looked like in Tour. Uh, sunset basically was- all of lap 1 was, uh, no sunset, all of lap 2 was sunset. Oh, oh, good, okay, we're still in first. Uh, but yeah, the thing is, apparent supposedly, this game was not made with, with dynamic lighting in mind, and so that's why there's no sunset. Uh, and yet Mato just got it to work, so I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't in the budget for the uh, DLC team. Because I have heard as well that this uh, DLC may have been made by a B team, which I don't think is a bad thing per se. I still really like the DLC overall, but it does make sense why little things like that were left out. Uh oh. Ugh. Now also, this track definitely is slippery. Dang it, definitely more slippery. 
Hello, you have a bomb. Oh, thank you. You, dro you dropped it, so I didn't get hit by it. I'm gonna keep these bananas, actually. Because I'm still comfortably right next to first place. And there you go. I would've gotten red shell. Twice, even. <laughs> okay. Oh, son of a gun. First place used up their mushroom. That's gonna be interesting. See if they regret that. Oh, don't come back to hit me, please. So that was sneaky. I'm just gonna do this, okay? I will take second if I can get it. Don't smack the Shy Guys, they do not deserve it. Shy Guys, or Yoshi smacked them, but he didn't actually get hit, so that's fine. Now, you have... Well, I am not gonna risk that. Oh, you dropped it! You dropped it! You should not have dropped it! <laughs> yes! Don't drop your defense! That is why you don't drop your defense! What is that flag in second place? I've never seen that. Oh my gosh. Alright, race number two coming up. Random selection number two is... Pauline. Now, like I said, I did want to make sure we showed off her racing outfit. Here we go. Because that's only in this game so far. It's not even in Mario Kart Tour, because that game has no bikes and technically no ATVs. Uh, and I modeled this off of the scooters in New Donk City. So we got the City Surfer, which looks pretty similar. We got the Slim Tires, which looks pretty similar. And then the Parafoil, which I figure is approximately what I would ha end up having. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Okay. Somehow ended up in another lobby with three tracks that I haven't showed off yet. And you can very clearly tell which one is the favorite here. In fact, a Maple Treeway is my favorite of the bunch as well, of course. But I voted for Berlin Byways because no one else was going to. Oh, we're going to Athens? We are going to Athens, okay. Everyone gets mo robbed of Maple Treeway. Now, I did mention this in the previous video, during the Madrid Drive time trials, but this particular track, I deliberately did not play in Mario Kart Tour for the express purpose of going into it blind here. And alongside this track being very much not city-like, in terms of, like, when you would think of a modern-day city, uh, going through it blind also really helped my opinion of it. Made it a heck of a lot more fun, you know? I should not have dropped those. I thought I was gonna get the double item box. Oh well. Just talking an ultra. We're fine. What the heck was that? That was some sort of weird item trail. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hit you, but I had to. Kind of weird. Oh, gas fire. Kind of weird how they add in a uh, trick ramp there. What? Oh my gosh. Half pipe. That's the term for it. I don't know why I was blanking on that. There's a half pipe there, even though it's like entirely useless. Like, that's not this whole weird... Okay, wow. I did not expect a crazy eight running up on me. That's the weird thing about half pipes in like... At least this game, but maybe Mario Kart Wii as well. It's just the fact that usually if you take them, you are going to fall behind. Get out of here, Daisy. Okay, good. I did get that. Let's just take it a little easy here. We're in 8th place right now. That's fine. Let's at least use a couple of these. Oh my goodness. That was a green shell and a half. Pop that. We only need a single item right now. I've got all the mushrooms. Like, look at this entire, like, half-pipe right there. That's an insane length of half-pipe, and for what reason? Like, there's not even items or anything up there. Okay. Final set of item boxes. That is not good. I think there's an item set in there, but it's not really worth going for right now. Even though I'm definitely not going to finish top half now. I'm just trying to hold position at this point. Oh, well, you open that path. I'll take it then. Yeah, I just want to maintain, maintain. Oh, I did not get the last trick. Uh-oh. Okay. Whew. We still got fifth. That's fine. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My goal is to finish in the top half of racers. And that's what we did here. So I am satisfied. Plus 10. Well done, Pauline. 
Alright, race number three is gonna feature one of the stranger builds, and probably one of the ones that's gonna work the least well, and that is... P.D. Piranha! Now, I chose the Mr. Scooty for him, because I think it's kind of funny, a big, giant, lumbering guy like him racing on such a teeny, tiny scooter, Monster Tires, because he's kind of a monster, and Water Wing, because he's a bad guy, I guess. That's about the best I got for him. He, he was one of the last ones I built, if I'm totally honest, and I wanted to make sure I used unique parts for everybody. DK Mountain is the only DLC track on this list, and I put more faith in people being more excited for it. Because I genuinely thought it was an unpopular opinion for me to think it was just okay. Stop. Ah, dang it. Oh, no, we still got one. Oh, and it's very fitting, too. Okay. Okay. You know what? Sure. PD Piranha on Piranha Plant Cove. It's perfect. And you know what? Come to think of it, this is also the very first brand new course added in tour to be shown off here on my videos. And look at everybody else using the roller tires except, like, Bowser. So let's see how badly this goes with these big, fat monster tires. Now this, this is definitely a nice one to have ended Wave 6 on in terms of uh, selecting a unique track from tour. Because, uh, it, as you see by the arrows there, just like the city tracks, it has got sections. It is a heck of a beast compared to an actual regular track. Ooh, I actually might have gotten him. I, I am not going to be able to get many turbos like this, I gotta keep that in mind. Alright, now I will say as well, really quick, part of the other reason... Okay, <laughs> that was a great explosion. Uh, part of the other influence for choosing particular builds for characters is whether I like their tricks more as a, on a cart slash ATV or on, or, sorry, on a bike slash ATV or on a cart. And in Petey's case, I like his tricks better on a bike. So, hit again. And so I chose a bike for him. Alright, that is section one of Piranha Plant Cove down. I should really be using that so no one else can. Now, another strange sort of thing relating to Piranha Plant Cove is that... Why did I not trick there? Or how? Where is that? Uh, there was one more brand new track added in tour called Piranha Plant Pipeline, and that did not make it into the DLC. Uh, I guess maybe they just kind of figured... Oh, shoot, you know what? I'm gonna just drop and take that. Oh, actually, I actually got the double. Nice. Uh, from what I've seen, apparently in Europe, the, uh, track Piranha Plant Slide is called Piranha Plant Pipeway, and so there could have been some manner of confusion between that one and, uh, Pipeline. Probably shouldn't have done that. You know what? No, wow, I where the heck is first place? Wow. I get to take the hit first, there we go. Because I just realized I got <laughs> triple mushrooms in fourth place, so where the heck is first? Watch the bullet bill, watch the bullet bill, okay. Those, drop that. Oh, good. Oh, get out of the center. And pop. Because I feel a shock coming on. I need you to get hit badly. I need you to get hit badly. Come on, second. Come on, second. Come on, second. Or third. Or third. Second. Oh my gosh. Nice. Wow. I actually pulled that off with this build of all things. Crazy. But yeah, no, this is a absolutely fantastic, unique track. I r I'm really happy this one made it into 8 Deluxe. Alright, race number 4 is a very, very silly build of mine. I had to. Look, A, Wiggler on the Wiggler is just silly to me, and B, this, these three have the same stats as the former meta, the Waluigi Wiggler meta. Okay, never mind then. We basically have to vote We Rainbow Road here. But I'll take Moonview Highway as well. Now, if We Rainbow Road does win this, I will allow it, because it is the first time we will have raced it online. And that is quite a different experience from Time Trials. Uh-oh. Okay, we got Moonview. I'll take Moonview. Moonview? I cannot pronounce it, apparently. Alright, now I will also say... Uh, I do actually prefer Wiggler's tricks on a cart rather than a bike or ATV, 
But I couldn't pass this up, honestly. I could not pass up the joke of putting Wiggler on the Wiggler, on the Wild Wiggler. And there's another Wiggler here! That is awesome! Hi, I'm honking at you! How are you? Also, as far as Wiggler goes, I was kind of meh on the idea of him being added in the first place, like, at the initial trailer, contrary to what it sounded like from that clip that I showed. Uh, but... Wiggler Angie. But... I do love, 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 love the fact that he uses his bottom arms to steer the cart, and then the top arms are just chilling up at the uh, up on his upper half there. Oh my goodness! How did I not get hit by anyone there? Okay. Okay. I should have gotten that item. I did not think I'd be able to. Now, as far as Moonview Highway itself goes, definitely hit on, hitting all the boost pads is like the is like the meta, the gimmick, as it were. Because I have won a good number of races against friends on this one, just because I kept hitting all of the boost pads. And also stop on, stop on coins as well. Ooh, 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 okay, you know what? I'm gonna take that. Take the coin. And this does not have great turning. So, Wiggler on it at least, definitely results in bad turning. Mm, get around you. We've got an okay set of items here. I would be okay with second place. I'm just gonna pop this, go up here. I don't know if going around or going up here is faster, honestly. If you saw on lap one, I tricked off of like the side of the track there. Or the side of the hill, rather. And so yeah, I don't know which one is faster. And they are just gonna take the hit on this, it seems. And that opens the route for me. Okay. This is going to be kind of close. If they get a good red show, oh my goodness, that was a heck of a good snipe, actually. I gotta give kudos for that. No, I'm not going to be able to steal this. Whew, that was a close one, though. That was close. I'll gladly take a dominant second place, though. Honestly, that's a really good ending to that race. And look at Wiggler, wiggling all four of those arms being all happy. I love Wiggler being all happy. Race number 5 brings probably the most hype addition from Wave 6 for the general Mario Kart community, Funky Kong. Now for this one, I chose the Chinooki Kart because it feels like he's the kind of guy who would have sort of a jeep. I was torn between this, honestly, and the P-Wing because that's sort of surfboard shaped, but I went with this instead. Button Wings because it's wooden, oops. Sorry, Button Wings because it's wooden just like a surfboard. And Plane Glider because of Funky's flights from the Donkey Kong Country games. So we've ended up with two of the city tracks that we've raced before, and I figured no one likes the city tracks, so I might as well have a good shot at DK Mountain. Probably will, I hope. Uh oh, is it random? Come on. Yes! Okay, we still got something good, okay. Whew, and by good, I mean something we haven't raced on yet. My goodness, okay. Whew, alright, Funky Kong on DK Mountain would have been fitting, just like PD Piranha on Piranha Plant Cove, but I will take something new in general. That's a really good horn as well, by the way. I admit, I'm not familiar enough with Funky Kong to know exactly what that's referencing, but I do still like the vibes from it. Now, Tour, Bangkok Rush. Definitely, I would say, one of the weaker CD tracks in this game, but I still would not go as far as to say it's bad by any real stretch. this corner. I do like how they changed the uh, arrows to be green, just they st stand out a bit more against the colors in this track. That's a nice accessibility touch, as it were. Let me try to go up high, just like everyone else. Oh, my goodness. I admit, I don't know why I... Oh, that's bad. Oh, wow. Well, that's even stranger than I am looking at it. Okay, good. And by good, I mean not good. There we go, okay. Quick shortcut here. I, I honestly don't have a ton to say about this track, if I'm honest. I played it in tour, I played it here. I thought it was alright both times, but not, like, particularly... stand out. It doesn't really stand out that much to me. I don't know. Oh, boy. Alright. I got some good defense now. I got my shells. I'm gonna keep these as long as I can. 
you go. I got defended already. Did not get defended from that, though. All right, you know what? I'm just going to put those backwards. There we go. You are for the shortcut here. Very tiny shortcut. No mushroom needed. And, uh, dang it. Ugh. Yeah, the handling on this, unfortunately, is not great either. And that definitely bit me. Couldn't get around the bomb in time. Or the banana in it. No, 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 I cannot speak. Couldn't get on the banana in time, rather. Oh, hello! Yeah, I'm really not good with low handling builds like this. Ah, dang it. So this is definitely gonna be a bad turnout. There we go. Oh my gosh, really? Ah, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just getting slaughtered in this race. Invisible wall, and I don't even get to go up high because of the bad handling. Yeah, I know, this is donezo. Just boost as much as I can here. Salvage what little I can in this race. At least it's not dead last. And it's only 14 points, it's not like 30 lost or anything. Oh well, sorry Funky Kong. Now race number 6 might end up going even worse, because for this one, it's not going to go worse because of the character, but because of what I put them on. This is Birdo! And I like this color for her the most, because of the nice dark blue and the purple. Uh, Yoshi Bike. I am horrendous with inside drifting bikes, and I don't remember if I've ever made a video about them or used them in on camera at all. So I'm going to do that here once, just to make sure I did. I picked this because it matches her nice blue, and I picked this because really she is the princess of the monster world in this game. Now this one could really go any way. I got a 50-50 chance of a new track at least. Actually more than 50-50 because of only 11 votes. Hopefully... Oh, I think we did. Okay, we did. Whew! Singapore Speedway. From wait from wave four of the DLC. So this one's kinda interesting because they took Yoshi's Island, the brand new track in wave four, which actually was brand new, which made it even more fun. Uh, and they put that at the end of the first cup and made this the ending to the second cup. Because they knew they had to squeeze in all of the, uh, all of the city tracks somehow, and this was their solution. So I've already missed an item. I'm already not confident in drifting here at all. So that's a good start for this inside drifting combo. Okay, wow. Now, Singapore Speedway itself, I am ooh, totally fine with. I think this is a great track, except for one thing that we'll get into in a moment. Yeah, I do not know how to do tiny little drifts like that. It's a little nuts. And I'm just going to hang on to this at this point. I'm just trying desperately to build up an ultra mini trope. Oh, dang it. Ah, oh, really? That was the perfect place for them to drop it, too. I can't even fault them for that. Go! Get the double. Get a boost from you. And this track is definitely more notable because of the fact that it is not traditional three laps. It is one lap and then one big section. Oh, come on. Just... No, just bounce off the walls, please. I do not want to use that fire flower. There we go. That's fine. And I just hate fire flowers. I don't know how the heck to use them. Let's see how this section goes, because I'm bad at drifting here with normal drift, but wow, with inside drift, that goes really smoothly, actually. Nope, nope, just get rid of it, and I'm going to land because I need another item badly. Uh, mushroom, okay, that could help. There we go. Okay, that's the last set of item boxes, too, and now I'm bonking. Get out of here. I'm just gonna knock them back. Try to keep my third place. Ooh, ooh, yikes, okay, okay. I'm being really greedy here. Oh, okay, you know what? That works. No one has items, no one can do anything. I'll take my third place. Jeez. 
Man! Okay, that ending could've gone a whole lot worse, but you know what? With Inside Drifting, I'll gladly take third place. Race 7 out of 8, and I admit I was kinda stretching with this one for the custom build. Diddy Kong! Like, yeah, I was really stretching for this one. Uh, Sports Coupe because yellow bananas, Sponge because, like, the tires kinda look like fruit, and then this because he comes from the jungle, I guess? Yo, I need to go now. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I survived that. I don't know how I got top six. Good lord. <laughs> that was a ridiculous ending. actually got one! Oh my gosh! Huh. I don't even know how long I've been searching for a new DLC track, but we finally got there. Berlin Byways with Diddy Kong. Huh. Okay, Berlin Byways. I think this is a pretty good city track as well, but I think, I think, I think... This is an unpopular opinion as well. I... Dang it. I very slightly prefer the tour version of the music over this versions. And that's just because the tour versions, at the, like at the very, very start of the song, it leans a little harder into the electronic half of it. Uh, yeah, into the electronic half of the music. And I just think that makes it sound more appealing, personally. More fun to listen to, as it were. Whereas this one is like proper orchestra or whatever, all, pretty much the entire way through, and that's just, uh, I don't know. I like the contrast better in the tour version. Lap 1, pretty good lap, I would say. I like the design of that lap overall, with all, all the curves and whatnot going to the train station. But lap 2, though. I really like what lap 2 does in its later half. And we'll get, call that out when it comes to it. What the heck are you doing, Kingu? Oh, I guess that's why. Okay, bye. Yep, I think he tried to slow down and give uh, someone else the blue shell, and he just did it a smidge too slow. Okay, I'm in a good position. Take that. Oh, wow, you actually didn't have to fence. Okay. Now I have to fence. So, this is the thing. So, oof. So, you hit that boost pad. You turn around, go through this park area. I don't know why I didn't do that, but you know what? Let's get some coins. I can use them. And then you cycle back around and cross over everyone else in the back. That, I think, is cool whenever a track loops over itself like that. Oops. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. I'm gonna go wide for this. I really need these double items. And I, I don't know if it's faster to take these boost pads or to take the inner track there. I really don't know. So in that case, I'm gonna do it that way. Okay, blooper, that's fine. Shouldn't make it too slippery. I still have some defense at least. Come on, Diddy Kong. Come on, Diddy Kong. You and your attractable teeth. If you know, you know. Blue Shell's not gonna get here in time. Don't throw the shell backwards. We got it! We got there! Oh my gosh, all that waiting for a new DLC track rewarded with a first place win. Oh, thank goodness. Berlin Wall Thwomps. You're awesome. Even even if tricking off of you is insanely wonky, as some people online have shown. Alright, our final race of this video. If you've been paying attention, you know who it's gonna be. It's Kamek. And this one was the easiest one to design. Landship, because they're a, a, a Bowser bad guy. Wood, because it matches the landship. And then there are Bowser's minions, so of course they get this. Nope, that was risky, but oh well. It's not gonna get, and we'll take it.
Dang it! Ah. One shy. Or one over, rather. Dang it. Oh, I gotta hang on to this now. Oh, blue shell dodge! Heck yeah! Still got it. Oh, I didn't even get that, but you know what? Man, that's a runaway! With a blue shell dodge at that! That. That is a good, good feeling. Whew, okay, finally, 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 we got our last race of the video. While Luigi Stadium, now, I have very little experience with Double Dash. I've played it, but I have not actually owned it myself, and so I have basically no experience with this outside of the Mario Kart Wii version. But, I do know this is apparently another fan favorite, at this point definitely because of all the crazy, like, speed you can get off of the half-pipes and stuff. There's some sort of weird shortcut you can take there by jumping around the wall, but I am not experienced enough with that, so I'm not doing it. Now, the entire gimmick here, obviously don't just drive straight, instead go here and try... Oh, hello. Try to keep taking this barely off the jump, and you can get at least a good three big mushroom boosts there. Now, in this case, I'm definitely going to need the double items, and I missed them completely. Wow, okay, that's good. That's awesome. That's great. Well, let's include the jump with no lightning or anything. But now, let's see how these guys treat me. Now that I'm defenseless, I'm going to get a coin here. First thing that I feel is best to uh, drift off that second jump there and charge up a big mini turbo. But again, I don't know what the best strategy is. That's just what I feel is best. Okay, I gotta make especially sure here that I get- Nope, I gotta go around here just to really be safe. Oh my gosh, I really flooded this section now. But you know what? Maybe that's for the best, because there's a blue shell coming. You can have fun with that blue shell, sir. I don't want it. There we go, okay. Somehow still in first, after that flub of a lap. No, I'm hanging on to this, I've got boo protection. This is my boo protection. However, if they just throw that at me around that turn... Okay, good. I was very worried about getting no warning on a red shell. Alright, let's try this one more time. Come in a little wider. Oh, you know what? That... Oh, dang it, come on. Oh, that was not the time. Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go, at least we got the speed back. I'll take second if I can get it, because there's still a pretty substantial lead over the rest. And you know what? I am just going to go ahead and show off this section up here, just because I'm probably not getting first otherwise. Oh, especially not now. Alright, I need that to go right now, otherwise it's not happening. There you go. Alright, you know what? I flubbed it, but I'll take second. I just wanted to show off that last section there. They added little anti-gravity sections up top, which I think is a really, really cool addition. It actually enhances the track, rather than, like weirdly degrading from it. Alright. Definitely not the best race to end on, but a second place is still a really good finish, regardless. Okay. That is gonna do it for this video. Trying to find new tracks is getting more and more difficult, as evidenced by the fact that this file is currently an hour and 35 minutes long. Hopefully I'll have better luck next time, and hopefully I'll see you then, where we're going to end off with the usual tradition of what I do for the video that lands on my birthday. See you then.